Hey guys, welcome to Outlaw Edge. So what I'm doing today is uh, I'm building a panel and I'm gonna show you how to do a raised, um, uh, to do a flange on a raised panel. And then I'll show you how to raise the panel also, or you know, the, to form the panel. And what I got right here is, this is the panel that I'm making. And you can see it's, uh, it's got like this radius right here. And then it's it's kind of a pain in the neck when you have a radius like this and then you also on a round panel you want to uh, run a flange on that all the way around <clears throat> so what i did is i took some tape laid it on top of the panel and i pretty much copied it if you don't have the panel you can you know you can make a buck or you can just freehand it and whatever and and it's uh it's kind of a pain in the neck but once you get the neck uh, you know doing it a couple times you'll figure it out it's it's actually pretty easy but what I did is I took some tape and this is just uh, two inch 3m brand painters tape laid it all on there and it doesn't have to be on the whole panel you lay the tape on here and then you draw where you want your flange your bends or whatever and then you peel it off and you put it on a piece of sheet metal and then I'll show you what I do from there. Don't mind the shaky camera. So after that, what I'm gonna do is I cut out the shape that I need when the tape is laying on here. And like I said, I took the tape off this piece carefully and put it on here flat. And then I just drew on there. Well, while this was, while the tape was on this panel here, I drew the lines where the flange is gonna be. So now that it's on sh flat sheet metal, I have this done here. I'm gonna go ahead and take the tape off and throw it away. And then I'm gonna take some Dicom uh, red dye. This is layout fluid and I'm gonna spray it on here. This is what I'm using. You don't need a lot. And then I dry it. This just kind of speeds up the process. What I'm gonna do now, uh, let's see, I gotta go this way. <clears throat> and I'm gonna measure how big I want my flange. I'm gonna run it a little bit over. Tighten your calipers. Now I have the line here. That way I know that's where the flange needs to be. And I'll go ahead and uh, take you guys over the beater bag. So the next step, I'm over at the beater bag and, and what I did is I put, I put up on my panel and I transferred with a Sharpie the size of the flange on the back. And I'll show you why I did that. I wanna be hammering into this panel like this so I know that when, I, when it's on the beater bag, I want this to be up because I want the hammer marks to go down, which in turn, when you flip this upside down, I wrote raise. It's gonna raise this panel this way. And I just did that for you guys to show you what I was doing. So I'll go ahead and hammer this. It's gonna be kind of loud. I'm gonna hammer this. And then uh, I might use the beater bag or the shrinking stump. I'm not sure yet, whatever works the best. And uh, if, I, if I use the shrinking stump, I'll do the same thing. I'll get my camera set up over there. But I'm gonna go ahead and beat this down right now and get it raise up this panel that I'm building. First thing you want to do when you got when you take your beater bag is kind of give it a little flip like this. And try to wear earplugs when you do this. Which 
which I'm not, but this is gonna be pretty quick, so. And uh, you don't wanna be beating on the flange. So what I wanna do is I wanna try to walk it right along that edge. panel already starting to take shape right there. It doesn't take much. And right here it's over bent. I'm going to bend it back a little bit. I did is I use the big big part of the hammer and then uh, when I start getting like high spots in the metal I use the smaller part and knock those down and real quick it's already shaped that panel and then now I'm gonna go ahead and transfer you guys over to the stump real quick and I'll show you why I use that so now what you can do is use this stump and use the flat spot usually this you know these are for shaping right here doing the same thing I'm doing on the beater bag but I'm gonna go ahead and uh, knock some of these high spots down on this flat spot right here I need to grab my other hammer real quick just bear with me for a second and where's that so when you're doing this you want to use a poly hammer on the beater bag and it's better to use a shaping hammer on the stump, you just get a better result. See how fast that's shaping this out and it's starting to smooth it out and it'll, it'll knock down all those uh, high spots but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get this set up so I can do the, do this on the plenishing hammer and finish it out and uh, I'll get the camera set up over there get the plenishing hammer set up and then uh, I'll film some more so what I'm using this is a, a plenishing hammer and uh, this is just a cheap Arbor Freight plenishing hammer but I've had it for a while now and it's, it's never failed me. The things work great. And uh, I highly recommend it. I mean, you know, for a shop, you know, that doesn't want to spend a bunch of money on a, on a um, planishing hammer, this is a good way to go. It does have a plug here where you can fill it with sand um, to keep the noise and everything down. It's gonna be loud as hell, I'm sorry about that. But uh, we'll go ahead and get started. And right now, the die that I have in there is uh, is like a half round. And uh, this is not a flat one. You can see the, the crown that it has on it right here. And what I what I do is I usually end up making some of my dies, if I want them in different shapes or whatever, I just make one on the lathe. That's what I did with this one because I, I was out at the other shop and I needed one, so I just made this on the lathe. It works real good and I've, I've ran it for years and it's hardened so it's, you know it's done really good but anyways I'm gonna go ahead and get this set up in there all you do is drop it in lift this up pull put the pin through here this is your lock up and lock uh, you know this little release right here and this uh, panel what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take all these uh, hammer marks out of here now Like I said, it's gonna be loud as hell. Sorry about that. 
I'll go ahead and oh I got this going so we're good and then what you want to do is you want to take your sheet metal stick it in there and lock it by pulling this lever over and you have a foot control down here on the ground and like I said it's gonna be loud so hold your ears And wear safety glasses. So what I did is I ran this only on the half the side. So you can see how smooth it is here and how rough it is here. I'm gonna flip it in here, flip it around so you can see the difference. You see how rough it is here. And then the side that I smoothed is just like glass, super smooth. And that's how you get a real clean panel built. What I'll do is I'll go ahead and shut the camera off now so you don't have to listen to the noise. I'll get this all smoothed out and then I'll take you over to the tipping wheel and show you how to tip the edge up on this. So in just a couple minutes, you can see how smooth it ran this panel out. And uh, this is really close to the radius on that other panel. Now all I need to do is just tip up this flange here because this flange is to another part on the car, gets holes drilled in it. And then this is gonna be uh, uh, spot welds through the uh, holes. So it'll look like factory when it's done. And I'll go ahead and uh, show you how to tip this on the English wheel or on the uh well it's on my English wheel but it's on a um bead roller so this this here I made this this whole setup and it's, this is just a tipping wheel is all it is <clears throat> I made this a while back you can check out my, my other videos I'll try to link this so that you can watch that video also let me get up close here Sorry about the crappy camera work. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna run this right through here and it's gonna tip this edge up so it's nice and smooth. And all I'm doing right now is I pushed it through so I can get it set up where I'm happy with it. Tightening the wheel. And then I'm gonna just turn the arm on the bead roller and run it down this line. Keep it on there as close as I can. And you can see right on that back side, it's already raising that flange there. Go ahead and do it again. Tighten it a little bit more. And once you get it, get used to your bead roller, you can go pretty fast on these. It's a lot easier with uh, two people. Go ahead and run it through here one more time. Tighten it up a little bit more. And you can see it's really starting to do a nice job now. And then what I'll do is uh, I'll set up the camera and I'll show you how I uh, use a hammer and dolly now to raise that flange up where I need it. All right, let's try that again. Just cut my finger pretty good so I had to bandage my finger up. So anyways, this is a, a post ollie. And what I'm gonna do is, well, I took a post ollie a while back. You can watch one of my other videos where I did this. 
and I took an old hand dolly and made it into a post dolly by welding a piece of a 3 16th inch or quarter inch uh, flat stock on the bottom of it. And then I'm gonna bolt that, or uh, tighten that into the vise. And then what I'll do is I'll lower this down so you can see better. And then you're gonna use this dolly so you can run this edge right around right here. And you wanna run your hammer nice and flat and you don't wanna push real hard, but you wanna make sure that you're bumped up against this uh, edge of this flange. And I'm gonna just walk it so that it brings this flange down. Just like that it brings it up so that it this is at a 90 to this panel now <clears throat> and i still have some work to do on it but you can see that you know this is going to be really close right now so um, i need to work this in the english wheel a little bit to get this crowned a little bit better but i'll do that and get it get it set up but it's getting there But anyways, uh, thanks a lot for watching. I appreciate you guys, uh, you know, supporting my channel, whatever, and uh, give me a thumbs up if you like the video. I'm gonna try to do some more tech tip videos and stuff like that, and do some uh, metal forming uh, videos and whatever. And when we do this uh, SEMA car, we're gonna try to do like just tons of videos so we can show metal working and you know how we make fenders and doors and hoods and whatever and different um, techniques and styles and whatever. So you guys be patient and hang out and have fun and watch the channel. And like I said, you know, give me a thumbs up if you uh, like the stuff that you see. If you have any comments on stuff that you would like to see on our video or our, on our channel, um, just put it down below. Hey, I'd like to see, you know, uh, you build a fender or build a door or something like that. And if it's something where it's, you know, I'll be doing in the in the future on this car that we're going to be building you know i'll try to go ahead and do that and if you if there's any tool videos that you want to see um i don't mind doing tech tips and stuff like that so i'll try to do that also but anyways i appreciate you guys uh watching thanks a lot